Okay, this is VoiceThread, and let's just take a look at VoiceThread. If I go to VoiceThread.com and click on My Voice. Now, I do have a VoiceThread account already set up, and I've just logged into it by clicking on My Voice. You can see I've got two things in here at the moment. Uh, this one here is um, uh, some Sally Morgan Aboriginal uh, artwork that I'm getting my kids at school to leave comments on. And this other one down here was just a test file that I made. So let's take a look at this one. You can see this one's got 23 comments left on it so far. So let's just take a bit of a look. When it loads up, you can see I've uploaded three pictures in here. And I can browse through these pictures. This is this first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. And what you'll notice is as I scroll through each of those pictures, I get some little icons around the outside. And what these icons represent are other people who have come by and left comments on my picture. So let's just go back to, say, uh, I don't know, um, that one there, let's say. So you can hear my first comment on it by clicking on my picture. This is still in the old city in Montreal, and this is Notre Dame Cathedral. And it was a beautiful building. Uh, most of the interior is made of wood, which was unusual because a lot of early cathedrals were made of stone. But um, apparently, the building materials in uh, in this part of Canada, in that part of the in that time in history, uh, it was easier to make it of wood. It did burn down once, or possibly twice. I just forget now. I won't bore you with the rest of that, but you can see I've left a voice comment on this picture. Now, interestingly, other people have come by and also left voice comments or text comments. So this person here, for example, Andrew Japenson, who I have no idea who that is, has left a comment. C'est marvelleux, or however you say it in French, and uh, some text here in uh, what looks to be Japanese. So, um, interesting, I have no idea what that says. If I scroll down here to the next person, this is Dennis Richards, uh, and I do know Dennis, he's a technology um, administrator, or a school administrator from uh, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. Hi Chris, this is Dennis from uh, Massachusetts. Um, just looking at your uh, voice thread here, I happen to notice uh, the cathedral up in Montreal. Um, I remember it. Uh, we visited Montreal not uh, maybe eight or nine years ago. Um, great picture of the uh, inside of the theater. And so again, I won't go through the whole thing, but there's Dennis's comment. If I skip around here, here's Fiona from Brisbane. She's left a text comment. What an extraordinary piece of architecture. Reminds me of my honeymoon in Paris and visiting cathedrals and chateau there. Uh, this person here, what a great photo. It took me a minute to focus on the floor and where the camera must be. Were you lying on your stomach? So. Um, this, this one here is a voice thread from Susie Vesper in New Hi, Zealand. Hi, my name's Susie. I'm from New Zealand. Um, I haven't been to Canada, but looking at these photos makes me want to come and have a look around. Um, we have the largest wooden building in the Southern Hemisphere here in, in Wellington, so it's interesting to hear of a cathedral made out of wood. Um, thanks for sharing these photos. And so on, and you can see there are other people as well. So that's how VoiceThread works. It lets you upload some pictures. They can be kids' drawings, they can be scanned images, digital photographs, anything visual, and put them in a place where other people can come by and simply leave comments, either text or voice, on those things and form this conversation that starts to take place around the photographs.